guys, it's me coming to you live via YouTube channel. <laughs> hey guys. So, ooh, you saw that lace, didn't you? Hi guys. I'm here with your video about wigs. Like, you asked me to do. I'm really the wrong person for this. I've been getting asked to do a video for a while and I don't know why I've been putting it off probably because I work all the time and I don't have time but I've been getting asked to do a video and today I'm off so I was like let me just get it over with and do it today. Um, so here we go. Okay. So I decided to make this video and I asked some people what should I make the video about and they said do a wig video. So I was like, eh, it's so long craving is. I've been trying to hide the fact that I wear wigs for a while and recently I started, you know, wearing my lace fronts and I was like, you know what? This is something that I should be proud of. Like, it's not like I'm bald-headed. I have hair, okay? So, I was like, this is something I should be proud about because I feel like girls, especially girls of color, like, we want to try all these hairstyles. We don't really, like, for me, let me speak for me, okay? For me, I have a lot of hair, but it takes a while to grow, and so sometimes I want to flip my hair, you know what I mean? So, I was like, I'm going to start wearing wigs. So once I started buying these nice wigs, I was like, when people ask me, and they're like, oh, what inch is that? Like, what kind of hair is that? I'm like, it's a wig. Like, <laughs> I started saying it, and people are like, so I was like, whatever, I'm just going to own it. Just going to own it. Own it. I wear wigs, people. Okay. And if you have a problem with that, then you need to grow up. I'm going to kind of go through what I do every day when I'm putting on my wigs and stuff like that. And hopefully it's going to be a good video and you guys like it and I can make more in the future, okay? So when I get up, I don't really wake up with my wigs. A lot of people are like, oh, do you sleep with your wigs? Do you... Because I guess people kind of glue their lace fronts sometimes if they get a lace front wigs. I don't do that because I like to change my hairstyle so much that it's just like I don't want to stick with one hairstyle. You know what I mean? So I put it on when my makeup is done when I'm going out. Take it off when I get home. Like it's really, it's like a hat. It's like a hat. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I do, how I do my lace front. A lot of tutorials on here, people push it back beyond their hairline. And they kind of blend it out with makeup. I have a big forehead, so that doesn't work for me. Okay? And if you have a big forehead, you know what I mean. You see this thing right here? That's my money maker. Okay. The parting thing. One, I don't have time for that. I kind of like the whole idea of just putting it on and go. And two, my forehead is big, so it just makes my forehead look bigger than it really is. Even if I do burst down my edges, it just... I don't like it. So I like to stick to just keeping it like it's supposed to be worn so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that this is Naomi Campbell's like stepsister almost she's really pretty she's curled she's a lace front it's a like a brown lace front it's like a nice little brown by the way don't judge the way I cut my lace fronts I did this on my own like not knowing what the hell I was sorry I cussed I hope my mom doesn't see this <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing and I cut it and you can kind of see I kind of like didn't know what I was doing so now I'm gonna show you how I put it on I found the light y'all okay so this is my natural hair it's been less than a year since I cut it again about that haircut I was telling you guys about so it's grown a lot like I have some hair, so for those of you who thought I had no hair under the wigs, okay. So 
so here we go so I just brush it down I'm sorry my hair is so nappy because it's been natural since I cut it so I haven't done anything that so for natural it looks pretty good so bear with me okay no judgment zone you guys asked for this video so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna brush my hair down because when I do put it in my little bun I don't want the little bump in the bun to show through the wig so you want to make sure it lays down nice and flat honey by the way excuse my edges all these weaves and braids have ruined me I'm working on it all right nice and flat yeah so here we go next thing you want to do is get a stocking cap or a wig cap and we're gonna put that on next you ain't never met a girl like me babe, babe. and you've been staying for a long time so won't you tell me what's been on your mind so I know you're probably wondering why is she wearing two caps okay I just really really like my head to be really flat so I put on two caps it's simple as that um I just feel like it looks better that way Show me the light. So like most wigs, this one has three combs, two in the front corners and one in the back. So I'm going to put it on now. So you just want to put that wig on. Before you put the combs in, make sure it's nice and comfortable. Adjust it if you need to. It's going to take a lot of adjustments. So if it's your first time, you want it to be comfortable, nice and comfortable, and nice and laid. So clouded by your part of life. And then you're so, you're so, you're so fine. No, you got all dressed up for the club. Waiting on to come pick you up, baby. Ooh, when I saw you, 